scripture reading will be coming from Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. As we go to God in prayer, let us remember those that are on our sick and shut in list, the bereaved and Bishop Thomas and the first family. Amen. Anybody glad to be here this morning? Amen. I said, anybody glad to be here this morning? Amen. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we come to you this morning, God, to tell you thank you, God. We thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. We thank you, God, for the activities of our limb, God. We thank you for the clothes you gave us. We thank you for the food you've given us. God, we come to you this morning to do nothing but give you the praise, God, because we know without you, God, we could do nothing, God. God, I ask you right now, God, those that are dealing with the death, God, touch them right now, God. Let them know that you'll never leave them, nor will you forsaken, God. Those that are dealing with being sick, God, let them know that you are a healer, God. If it's anybody in here today, God, let them know they can be healed right now, God. If it's anybody in here that needs to be delivered, God, let them know they can be delivered and set free. Let them know they don't have to leave the same way they came, God. They can leave different, God. Because, God, we put our trust in you, God. We know that without you, there is no other, God. We know there is power in your blood, God. We know there is power in your name, God, and we're here to do nothing but to give you praise, God. God, I ask you right now to go touch the man of God as he come, God, to preach your word, God. Knowing him right now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, God. God, I ask you right now to arrest this atmosphere, God. Let us know right now, God, that we can't do nothing else without you, God. We give you praise and we give you honor. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen.
Good morning, church. My name is Lyric Johnson, and these are your weekly announcements. Family Bible Institute will be on Tuesday. Each member is encouraged to attend Bible study each Tuesday evening. All leaders and director of ministries, please meet with Brother Parnell on Tuesday, January 23rd at 6 o'clock p.m. Women's Choir will rehearse at 7 p.m. and Voices of Thunder at 8.15 p.m. on Thursday. The women and men of Mount Rose are invited to join in these singing ministries of the church. If you are in need of a 2017 financial statement, please stop by the church office or send an email with your request. Gideon's Army will be the same as last year. Each member was asked to contribute $7 a week or $365 a year. Everyone should do their individual part in the construction of our new worship center. Troop 8316 will host a Girl Scouts cookie booth Sunday, January 21st, 2018, immediately following 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. services. Cookies are $4 each, cash only. Women of War Ministry presents our annual prayer fellowship breakfast, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Saturday, February 17th, 2018 at Furs Buffet. 300 East I-20 Highway in Arlington. The cost is $15 per person and payments will be received following both services beginning today. See a representative in the foyer. Church visit. Sunday, February 11, 2018 at four o'clock, Bishop Thomas is preaching at the Solid Rock Baptist Church in Paris, Texas. Paris, Pastor Lance Mann is celebrating his first pastoral anniversary. Solid Rock is providing lunch, and there will be charter bus service provided by the Mount Rose. There are a few seats remaining. If you are interested in riding the bus, please see Brother Sam to sign up. When writing a check to the church, please make it payable to Mount Rose Church and not Mount Rose. When completing your envelope, please write legibly and fill in your first slash last name, date, and amount. It's not important to complete the address or email unless there is a change or update. Vacation Bible School will be June 11th through the 14th, 2018. If you are interested in assisting during that week, please see Sister Diane Asbury, Sister Thelma Thomas, or leave your name in the church office. We have a few Just Like That t-shirts available. Please stop by the table in the foyer following service. Thought for the week from Bishop Thomas. You need blessings over benefits. On behalf of Bishop Thomas, we welcome you to our church this morning. You are welcome to join in with our worship experience. I have to caution you that you've entered an anointed atmosphere where anything is bound to happen. The ushers are passing out visitors' cards. If you complete yours and turn it in at the media table, you'll receive a gift from the church. Again, you are welcome, and please feel free to come back.
somebody lift your hands as we celebrate the greatness of our God. He's great and he's greatly to be praised. Our God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Come on, our God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Give strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Say, my God is awesome. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. He can move mountains. Keep, me Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Hide me from the rain. My, God awesome. my God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Come on, if you believe it, lift your voice and say, Come on, if you know it's awesome, say, Come on and lift your voice. the whole world, giver of salvation, by his stripes, I'm here, my God is awesome, today I am forgiven, his grace is why I'm living, somebody ought to praise his holy name, come on and testify, you know he's awesome, say it. Your voice is
Come on, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on. Do it how you feel it, Doc. Do it how you feel it. Listen, I ain't never seen nothing on fire still. I mean, you in all this fire, your neighbor just sitting there looking you up. Look at somebody and tell them, praise him how you feel it. Praise him. Yeah, go on, praise him how you feel it. Yeah, 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 we, we ain't going to judge you. Come on, come on. He deserves to pray. You ain't got to worry about being off beat. There's so many beats in that song. Just, do, just pick one. Just pick one. Just pick one. Yeah, yeah. Tell somebody that's that Nolan's flavor right there. That's that Nolan. Y'all act like y'all ain't never been on Bourbon Street. Tell somebody we're taking the mask off today. We're taking the mask off today. Go on, show us how to praise them. Go on, show us. Go on, show us. Go on, show us. Arthritis got some of y'all angry right now. Arthritis, bursitis, aging. I didn't put my cream on this morning. But how many know I got to praise him like I feel it? Come on. Nurses, I want y'all to bring this boy some water when we through. Tell somebody that look like little David. That look like little David. Y'all know David, the Bible says David danced. Judge until he danced out of his clothes. In case you didn't know it, this is a divine manifestation. And a little child shall lead them into worship. He'll lead. I hear what some of y'all saying. They ain't got no bills. They ain't got to pay no car note. I remember when you didn't worry about it, you just trusted God. Come on in this house, somebody. Tell three people, come on, let's get our groove on in here. Come on. Acting like you ain't moved in a long time. All them Christmas parties you went to. Come on, hell. Tell somebody it's all right to praise him in here. Come on. I'm going to try one more time. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Man, I break my hip. I try to do it. Mount Rose, you ought to thank God. I say you ought to thank God for what God has blessed us with right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the people of God said amen come on give God a shout for joy in this house now let's thank God for our youth ministries today did y'all feel that anointing flowing 
from my little angels all the way to the choir. Did y'all feel it flowing? Hallelujah. My God, I know it. I know that our kids done seen a whole lot of stuff, some they shouldn't have seen in our life. But aren't you glad they saw this side of you too? I ain't scared to pray some grown folks. They just, kids, they're like, well, give it to you. Play it if you want to. Play it if you want to. We'll give it to you. Come on, let's let them know they, this is the best thing they could ever have is a relationship. And not to be ashamed. Hallelujah. My God. Mm. We give thanks and we give praise to God for these young people today. Man. Somebody said it was on today. It was on. It was on. The Holy Spirit was flowing in here. Now, you know how important it is for it had to at least be two or three. Touching and agreeing in the same. So you may not know who the two or three was. So just tell somebody on your right. Thank you for being in tune today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I'm sitting next to you. This is going to be an easy service today. Amen. Mm. God. I think that's worth encouraging them for. Just thank y'all for making us sweat this morning. Man, now watch. Now don't y'all disappoint me. Don't start talking and playing behind me. Acting like your mamas and daddies now. Shout out during church and cuss after the benediction. Don't do that. And it. And you know what? I'm gonna give y'all a pass today. If anybody go to sleep on me, y'all too. Y'all ought to be tired. Y'all ought to be tired. So if you go to sleep, I ain't gonna even chunk no water at you. Amen. We give thanks unto God for he is good. And his mercy endureth forever. Tell somebody you're in an anointed atmosphere. And in an anointed atmosphere, anything is bound to happen. Tell them it can happen right where you sitting, right where you sitting. It can take place right there, right there. Amen. We thank God. We are honored today, and the Bible teaches us to give honor to whom honor is due. Today we have some dignitaries that are present. I know they may not want me to say that, but that's what you are. You're dignitaries, and we thank God for your presence my friend, my good brother, Judge Stretch Rideau. Amen. Let's welcome Judge Rideau of Precinct 4. Amen. Wave at him again, Doc. Wave at him one more time. Amen. Amen. Uh, he'll probably be saying, is that, is, that, is that one of them kids that was up there dancing that Sunday? We don't, we, if you have to see him, at least he'll know there's some kind of God in you. And, 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 and judgment must begin in the house of Israel first. So we pray that he be merciful. Amen. Also, we have Judge Kathy Hubner. Amen. Come on, wave at us, Judge Hubner. Hey, what's going on? Precinct 4 as well. That's the Grand Prairie location. Amen. And their families are with them too. So let's just welcome. Let's welcome them today. Amen. And we have our old yellow, amen. We have old yellow, Commissioner John Wiley Price. That's our old yellow right there, amen. Man, we thank all of you for what you do, amen. We thank you for looking out for us. And we just it's just good for us to know that God is in y'all's life. So we know you can only go so far, amen. Amen. Thank you all so much, and we are praying for you. Thank you for stopping by today. Amen. There is a word from the Lord found in a very familiar passage of Scripture in the book of Philippians. Philippians. I said Philippians. Y'all just so country. Philippians. It ain't no Philippians. It's Philippians. Like, it ain't Philemon. It's Philemon. 
Somebody said, who is that? That's that real short book in the Bible back there by Revelation. If I had to say, turn to the book of Philemon. Philemon, I ain't never heard of no Philemon. Philippians, Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 13. Chapter 4, verse 13. Somebody got confirmation right there. Somebody got confirmation. I ain't got to say a word. God just, God just answered that prayer in your secret closet right there. God, yes, he did. Yes, he did. God just inflated you where you had been deflated right there. I, I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. You may be seated in the presence of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me me. I want to talk this morning in continuation, some sort of deviation from our theme for the year dealing with recovery. We lost a lot of stuff last season in our life and it wasn't all material. The people of God lost some very important and expensive, valuable items that were intricate parts of our spiritual well-being. That's why you're not doing well today. That's why your praise didn't get in and you wasn't really feeling everybody, won't they sit down? Let's hurry up and get out of here. Because you lost some very expensive and important valuable items in the last season of your life. Your trials stripped you of some stuff. Our, our trials that God allowed to come in our life and have to face test results, difficult verdicts, court cases, stripped you of what's really the most important thing about you, and that is our spirituality. The brothers and sisters, uh, the devil had another plan, but it was to do the same thing. The enemy comes, Jesus says, John 10 and 10, the enemy comes but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have life more abundantly. I want to talk today about recovering your confidence. Tell somebody, get it back, get it back, get it back. You're not even the same no more. I don't even like going to the show with you no more. I, I don't even like ask you to go to, I don't even want to buy your concert ticket no more because you have lost your confidence. Your confidence. Uh, in the 20th century, there was a man by the name of Winston Churchill who was known for his speeches that would rally the nation to fight, especially the fight in the 20th century, World War II, against the, um, uh, when he, they went against to fight France. Uh, he was known for how he rallied his troops. That was an er excerpt that I ran across in looking over this text that suggests this. He said to them uh, that he wanted it to be known and understood that what his policy as a leader and what his purpose was really all about. He, uh, uh, he, was, he, he said something like this. Let me get to it. He said, uh, if you ask me what is our policy, I'll tell you it is to wage war. In our modern day vernacular, he will be saying, don't get it twisted. 
I will fight you. Uh, if you knock this off my shoulder, it's on. Ain't, ain't nobody remember growing up when if somebody really wanted you, they'd knock that chip off your shoulder. It might have been a lollipop stick or a popsicle stick or something, you know, but just a, a rock, a pebble, a piece of paper. Just if you want to get it on, then show me by knocking this off my shoulder. That, that was a nice way he put it philosophically that if you asked me my policy, our policy is as it relates to any enemy that we have, it is we will wage war and I'll come at you by sea, I'll come at you by land, and I'll come at you by air with all my strength. And then he says, and with all the strength God gives us, I'm coming for you. And I believe that that excerpt ought to be an adoption or at least an adaptation to those who are here today that have gotten a little shabby, a little frail, a little freckled along the way that let's get this straight, devil. Y'all know who the enemy is, don't you? Oh, oh, maybe that's the problem. You're too busy fighting somebody that you can see. How many know the enemy can't be seen with human faculties, but he can be recognized through the discerning of the Holy Spirit? Because we wrestle not, y'all going to make me holler, we got guests in here. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, put on... Come on in here, somebody. The whole armor. Let me go to the happy to be here section. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And having done all to stand. Stand. Ask somebody, have you done all you can do? Tell them now, stand. I believe that William Churchill's excerpt would be adaptable today, uh, applicable today. I, I believe that if, 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 if we don't adopt it, we ought to adapt to it. And now there is a difference between adopt and adapt. C come on, help me somebody. Uh, to adopt something means to take on the responsibility of it, uh, but to adapt to something means to get in line with it. I need somebody to tell somebody either way you can't lose with God. Because if you're not in his will, you're in his way. And a whole lot of times our fear comes upon us. It's not because we're not doing right. It's because we're not doing it the way God told us to do it. So I believe that that excerpt ought to be young people adapted or at least adopted. Uh, as, as a principle in our life to help us to recover our confidence. Let's go to the text. Paul says, and before I get there, can I just tell you this? Write this down if you're writing. Listen, uh, success comes in cans. Success comes in cans. But failures comes in cans. Slow bus, slow bus. I said success comes in cans. I can do all things. Failure comes in cans. I can't do that. Show me a successful person. And I'll show you somebody who said I can. Show me a person who's always whining and complaining and looking for somebody to do some form that they ought to at least be doing for themselves. I show you somebody that's full of a bunch of I can'ts. And when you go in the pantry, y'all don't know nothing about no pantry. I'll take it another generation back. When you go in the cupboard, 
You don't want to pull down a can that ain't got nothing in it. Especially when you're hungry. I need you to nudge your neighbor and say, you need to get hungry again. You need to get hungry. Because, see, when you get hungry, your senses get sensitive. One more time, I'm going to try. I say, when you surely get hungry for the word of God and the direction of the Holy Spirit, your senses get sensitive. David says, that word is a lamp unto my feet, and it is a light unto my path. Where he said that a blessed man is that man who hungers and thirsts after righteousness. For they, Jesus said, for they shall be filled. Then David says, in his law doth he meditate. Preach, Bishop. Both day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in his season. His leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so. They are like the shaft in which the wind driveth away. The Lord knoweth. The way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Tell your neighbor, you need to get hungry again. Man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word. That proceeded from the mouth of God. Big mama say, give me the mic. They'll understand what I'm finna say. God, me, oh, thy great Jehovah. I'm just a pilgrim traveling through this barren land. Then that second verse said, bread of heaven. Oh, y'all heard that before? Bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. And then the choir will come in. Bread. Boy, y'all better stop. Y'all better stop. Y'all better stop. Tell at least two people, close mouth, don't get fed. Close mouth, don't get fed. Open your mouth so God can feed you. Feed me on till I Somebody said they talking in cold. They talking in cold. They talking in cold. Sound like they done went off into a channel or something. I... That's enough. That's enough. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Y'all so crazy. Look at somebody and say, I don't need him to sing it. I know it for myself. Y'all sit down because I'm going to finish my sermon today. Strong deliverer, strong deliverer, be that. Some of y'all, yeah, the porch, y'all don't know y'all. Huh, 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 didn't get back to the porch, you know. Deliverer. This ain't choir rehearsal. Y'all, this is morning worship. Y'all, what's wrong? Come on, y'all, this morning worship, y'all was just out of order. Tell somebody, you can't put that fire. You can't put that fire. That's, our God is a consuming fire. Y'all don't even know how hungry y'all are. Y'all don't even know how hungry y'all are. And I can't blame y'all because a whole bunch of these pastors ain't feeding you. Hymns are for the hungry. Lord, oh, have mercy. Lord, 
If you grew up on that, come on. If you grew up on that, come on. Have mercy, Lord, Lord. I tell somebody, I was raised on that right there. See, back where I come from, them old saints are standing up and saying, all right now, all right now, you're going to make me come get you. Look at my mama. She done made a way. Y'all get her. She finna come tackle me. She finna come tackle me. Tell somebody, get back hungry. Get back hungry. For the word. Look at three people if you know what I'm talking about and say, now that's what I'm talking about right there. You ain't got to put no bells and whistles on that right there. That, tell somebody that went straight to where it hurt. Come on, help me. Tell somebody that went straight to where I was hurting right there. heard my cry what is wrong Love. now they go again Love. they sound like they're singing some slave stuff or something what is going they moaning sound like they moaning in here sound like it cause when we moan the devil don't know what we're talking about right now And pitied my every groan and Tell somebody I didn't know I was that hungry. I didn't know I was that hungry. Tell somebody that's that soul food right there. That's that soul food right there. Y'all finna try to steal my servant today. Long as I live, while trouble rides long. to his throne I
God bless you. God bless you. Yes, sir. That's a little. Tell somebody, eat it all up now. Eat it all up. Come on, eat it up. Eat it up. Tell them, get your confidence back. Listen, when you got out of church after them kind of songs, and couldn't nobody tell you nothing Monday morning. Tell somebody, I'm ready. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. But, 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 but I know. Y'all, y'all. Y'all go ahead and sit down now. Y'all, if you can, sit down. You're, you're being hard-headed. Sit down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell somebody, I can do all things. Through Christ. Who strengthens me? Yes, sir. Let me tell y'all this so I won't get charged for not preaching today. Because you know they'll take it out of my check. I know I gotta get my iron. I gotta get my iron. I got things I gotta do now. I got to. So let me give y'all a, a little sapling. So they won't strip me. Paul said I can do all things through Christ for so long we have taken it under the connotation in the wrong context what he was really saying and I'm going to be through young people give, if we are to understand it from the literal translation from the Greek to the English language it would read like this, not I can do all things, that came about after the translation. But the actual transliteration of I can do all things would read like this in the Greek, I can bear all things. Because that gives it a whole different turn and twist because we've been too busy trying to do everything. And Sister Jones, God ain't called us to do everything. He said, but you can bear all things. Because love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love bears all things. Love never fails. So if you really love God like you say you love him, then your confidence is not in what you can do, but the ability that he gives us to be able to bear. Tell somebody you handling that thing. You handling that thing. And they don't even know what your thing is, but by the looks of it, God and you got it all under control. God said, you let me work it out while you weigh it out. Now touch somebody and say, go on, brush your shoulders off. You're doing a good job based on what you got to do with wit. You come a long way based on where you had to come from. Don't you let your past paralyze your future. God says, because I chose you and I love you, uh, Paul says, I'm able not to do all things, uh, but I'm able to bear all things through Christ. I've got some folk in here that'll stand up and wave at me that they had to bear the word that they had cancer, but they still got their witness. They had to bear the word of a lost loved one, a, lo a murdered loved one, somebody they had to put in the ground, but they're telling you right now, he won't put no more on you than you are able. Tell three people, you can handle this, you can handle this. Tell them, you got this, you got this. 
Tell them your shoulders is broad enough for this. Tell them this ain't no baggage. This is your burden. Because God ain't never called us to bear baggage. He said lay aside every weight and the sin which do it so easily entangle us and let us run this race looking on to Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. The cross was not something Jesus was to do. The cross was what he had to bear. And I'm going to leave y'all on one more of them old hymns. Must Jesus bear the cross alone? And all the world go free. No, there is a cross for everyone. There is a cross for me. Consecrated cross I bear till death shall set me free and then go home. My crown to wear for there is a crown for me. Come on, touch somebody and say, recover your confidence. God bless you. That's it. God bless you. God bless you today. Tell somebody, you got this. You got this. God ain't asking you to do anything. He said, I just need you to bear it. You've been so deflected by all of your defeats because you've been trying to do it. If you could do it, you wouldn't need God. But how many know I need the Lord to guide me every day as I travel along this narrow way. The afflictions Press my soul. I'm determined to reach my goal. I got to have Jesus, or I just can't make it by myself. Every day I pray, I pray, I pray, and I pray. What you praying, Bishop? I pray and ask the Lord Jesus. Don't leave me by myself. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, through the years, come what may. I gotta have Jesus or I just can't make it by myself. The door of the church is open right now. Come on, somebody help me. We extend the privilege of discipleship to guide me every day. As I travel along this narrow way. Hey, would you come? Though affliction Press my soul. We have people standing in the aisle. I'm determined to reach my goal. You know I gotta have Jesus. Oh, I just can't make it by myself. Can I say that one more time? I need the Lord. To guide me, Christian experience all about letter every day. Yeah. As I travel along this narrow way, would you come? Just tell them what your need is. They'll minister at that point. Though afflictions. Press my soul. I'm determined. Oh, to reach.
reach my goal. You see, I gotta have Jesus. Oh, I just can't make it by myself. Every day I pray, 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 pray. pray. 